So after a couple of hours of sorting and tucking and moving and testing and tracing and poking and prodding, I got the, I got the majority of the electricals back together tucked away into the channel got the mesa board still got the 7i76ed but i have decided i'm going to change over to the e i wanted to get the i wanted to get the uh ductwork back together that way it's just a matter of just pulling connectors putting the new board in place and then just plugging everything in um so a couple things that will probably change. Um, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna utilize one of the 24 volt outputs to go to here for pin 16 to do the drive enable. Cause that's what MCO specifies. I may as well stick to what they say. And if I see magic smoke, then it's just an excuse to order servos. The turret is about, I don't know, 80% complete. I uh, got it to index. I can't get it to I can get it to the stations that I want, but I can't get the tools to correspond with what I've got. It, it's it's hard to explain. When I get uh, when I get the logic worked out, I'm gonna put a part of the video up on that because it's there's a lot to it. I did try to use the carousel component, and it didn't seem to didn't seem to really benefit me in any way, shape, or form uh, to, compared to what I've got going on in classic ladders. So I'll try it both ways and see which one see which one works. But I have uh, mounting provision for Pi. I took uh, a couple of standoffs that I had, and I bought a couple of I bought a couple of these DIN rail clips, and I took some. It's actually leftover flat work for making uh, single coil guitar pickups and I made little extensions out of that with the standoffs on there and that holds it pretty good I can I can move it around if I wanted to and I've got channel space here I can route my ethernet port and I can route some USB cables and whatnot so that that's in good that's in a good spot the HDMI's are here the power supply is here I wish I had space. I guess I can find space, make space right here for uh, for a little outlet or something to plug the power supply into. I believe that this thing will run off of standard 5 volt, but the question is where would I get that from? I'm not going to try to run it off the mesa. I don't think it has enough amperage. So that's, uh, that's kind of where I'm at right now. So stay tuned for some more in the next clip. Amazon Claus has been here again. Dropped off, uh, dropped off this Asus 22-inch touchscreen monitor. I uh, tried to use my planer, planer, whatever. 22-inch. This is the uh, PCT2235. This did not work very well. There was something about it that the Pi did not like. But let's uh, let's talk about the 800-pound gorilla in the room here. I got my electrical cabinet all set back up, pretty much. And, 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 there it is. Mr. Pi. I got Mr. Pi mounted to the DIN rail. I've got... USB plugged into it. I've got HDMI, I got power, and I've got touchscreen. I don't have a mouse attached. I don't have a keyboard attached. I have full independence with this guy here. That's not to say that I'm not going to continue to build my little operator panel here. Much to the contrary, I uh, I do find that the responsiveness of the jog buttons are a little lacking. Otherwise, it's pretty on point. I'll, uh, I'll fire it up for you here. Take it out of e-stop. I've actually got I got my e-stop circuit tied in so that when I e-stop, it e-stops the machine. Move cursor, pull it out of e-stop, and then I should be able to just pop the machine right back on.
got it set up to where the entire safety circuit is working proper. I didn't change much as far as the safety circuit is concerned. This is the safety circuit right here. 9 and 11 tie together. They uh, come back into number 10, which are these guys here. These two are for the motor contactors. These guys here, one of them is for the side door switch and one of them is for the front door switch. Whenever the side door is opened, I believe that they're for that. No, one of them is for the e-stop button, I'm sorry. These guys are for the, this one in 11, I think. I don't even, I did it last night at 2 a.m. Anyway, the, uh, the way that the, the door circuits work is that if you open up the side door, or if you open up the front door, it disables spindle contactors. But then the e-stop button will kill everything. It kills the spindle contactors, kills the software, um, it stops all motion. But it doesn't affect the power on the 7i76. It just takes the takes the boards out of the enable state. So, yeah, we're, uh, we're making some headway. I can get this thing to get it to zero return. So I popped it out of E stop there. Go here. Go to X zero return. There she goes. Z zero return. And there she goes. So there's a there's a little dingly dingly end here that the way that the dingly end works is that it zero returns far enough away from the chuck that it doesn't mush into anything but there's still plenty of room to go from home position so if I put it into one of the jog increments here and I just see that's the one thing that I did find is that there is a little bit of a bug in the software so it didn't zero return even though I told it to and if I press the e-stop button or the machine off button or the e-stop button on here it'll update and the response of the response time goes away as well but I mean I've got it in one uh, 100,000 scale so that's not pressing it and waiting for it isn't a product of the actual software being buggy it's that's just a product of the scale that I was in but if I'm in continuous you can't really it's hard to tell from watching it here but maybe a couple of milliseconds in time that it takes but yeah there is a there is a little bug where every once in a while the um, I don't know if it's something with the homing sequence or what, but it seems that when it homes, um, this, that's the second time it's happened where the display will freeze up. So I'm going to have to uh, see if I can report that to the to the powers that be at, uh, <laughs> at the development site there. So, uh, yeah, so far so good. We are uh, we're up and running on Pi. I got to get my bulkhead connectors so I can not have this thing uh, this thing sticking out. But a couple of bulkhead connectors and my uh, operator panel it will be in good shape. The way that it's set up right now, I mean, technically, I could chuck a piece in there and start hacking away. I do have to get the I do have to get the turret figured out. That is still a little bit of a thorn in my side. I've been playing around with the cheese wheel. I've been playing around with classic ladder. I've been playing around with the carousel component. Nothing is working in my favor, but I've got some ideas that I'm going to try out, and I will report back on that as soon as I get my ducks in a row. I think this will be the end of part four 
of the uh, build videos. So, um, so thanks for watching. And again, if, if you haven't subscribed yet to the channel and you like the content, please, 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 please subscribe to the channel and uh, stay tuned for more updates. Oh, I, I did get, I did become uh, an Amazon whore affiliate. So I will be posting affiliate links in all of my descriptions for all of the things that I will be using on this and all of my other builds. So uh, if you want to give me eight cents, click on stuff, order things, and I'll, I'll get eight cents. Thanks for watching. Quick update. I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. It's not perfect. It's ugly. I have to redo the, the sequence of the logic a little bit. There's an issue with Classic Ladder where if you put certain things in sometimes you can't edit in that area so i have to keep adding sections so i'm gonna have to uh go back and revamp this but i got it i've got a small delay timer here debounce didn't seem to work very well because it would it would throw off the uh the count for some reason i think that i think there's a, a numeric error or something in debounce I'm going to keep playing with it, but for right now, I've got this timer set to 400 milliseconds. And I still have to come up with a, a zeroing routine. But if I go to, if I go to, say, T7. Right now, we're at tool position number three. Call her up. We want to go to T7. Boom, let's go to T7. And we're now in position for tool number seven. Go to position one. And boom, we're in position one. Two. And we're in two. Six. And we're in six. That's it, man. <laughs> we got it. Again, clean it up. Home routine. And we got this by the balls.